In the ninth Battle of the Race Circuits, we have a battle between Cadwell Park, who beat Laguna Seca in the previous round, and the new contender, Gerard Clement Ferrand. For those who are not familiar with the Battle of the Race Circuits, the formula is quite simple. Every month we show you two epic race circuits which have something in common. You decide which circuit is best. The winner goes on to the next round for a battle against another iconic racetrack, but any circuit can only stay on for a maximum of three rounds. Cadwell Park is a permanent racing circuit in Lincolnshire, England. It opened in 1934 as a compact racetrack. In 1953 and subsequently in 1962, the track was extended to its current length of 2.25 miles or 3.6 kilometres. Whilst it has hosted the British Formula 3 race in 1963, it's mostly used and known for motorcycle racing and track days, with the British Superbike Championship race being its biggest event on the calendar. Cadwell Park often pops up on TV and film though. It was used as a location to film some of the scenes for the movie Rush about the 1976 Formula 1 season and the epic battle between Nicky Lauda and James Hunt. The circuit was also used frequently by the TV programme Fifth Gear. Due to its elevation and mixture of challenging corners, Cadwell Park was nicknamed the Mini Nürburgring. Of course, this refers to the Nürburgring's Nordschleife. Just like the Nordschleife, Cadwell Park follows the landscape of a steep-sided valley with dips and crests. Cadwell Park has many fast flying turns with elevation changes, but there's also a twisty section with a succession of medium and slower turns, still with some elevation changes though. This particular section is called the Mountain Section. The Clement Ferrand circuit was originally a street circuit around an extinct volcano in the Puy de Dome region in France. This 8km or 5 miles long circuit opened in 1958 and contained a challenging mix of different corners with elevation changes featuring prominently on this game. For that reason, it was nicknamed the French Nürburgring. Spot a theme. The old Clermont Ferrand circuit hosted the Formula 1 French Grand Prix four times between 1965 and 1972. During the 1972 Grand Prix, today's Red Bull advisor, Helmut Marco, lost his left eye in a freak accident. Because the old Clermont Ferrand circuit was found too dangerous, it lost the French Grand Prix and other international races. It carried on racing until 1988 where it was used for national races only, but then the street circuit closed to motorsport. However, the General Council of Puydedong recognised the interest of the circuit for the local economy, so with the financial support, a new 3.97km or 2.47 mile long circuit was built. Just like Spa-Francorchamps, they used part of the old street circuit, but built a new permanent connection onto it. The new circuit opened in 1989 as a semi-permanent circuit, known under the name Circuit de Chirard. The Circuit de Chirard is a permanent racetrack now, with a new road bypassing the old street section, which then became permanent. The track is now mainly used for classic events and driving courses. The lost part is still there as a public road with a small abandoned section to rummage through. Whilst it has lost part of its original layout and flavour, it's still a very challenging circuit with many different corners and those quirky elevation changes. So now it's up to you. Let us know down in the comments which one is your favourite and tell us why too. Will it be Cadwell Park, the British Nürburgring, or will it be Gerard Clement Ferrand, the French Nürburgring? <laughs> the choice is yours. Check out the social tab on the Circuits of the Past YouTube channel. In two weeks' time, we'll announce the winner and allow you to vote for the new challenger. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss the next episode from Battle of the Race Circuits and the other videos we create from iconic racetracks from the past and occasionally from the present too.